Good morning, Flats Class YouTube fans. Captain CA here, and welcome back to the channel. And for those that are new, this is the channel that teaches you everything you need to know about inshore fishing. Now, many times I give lessons on the water, or we put shows here, or podcasts here, or we interview a pro here. But today, I'm going to share with you a piece of terminal tackle that I've got right here on the deck. It's the new rigging hook from Z-Man. This is the ZWG. This is going to make all other rigging hooks, in my opinion, obsolete. I promise. It's going to make your experience in the water better every time you go. And if you've ever, ever had some frustration with twist locks or, or any other rigging hook while you've been on the water using Z-Man Elastec, this solves it all. Let's go over to the front deck of my Eldora and go see what it's like. All right, let's get this lesson going. Now, I understand that most of you that follow this channel, whether you be hybrid anglers like bass and inshore, or you're just intermediate to advanced inshore, you probably already know what an extra wide gap hook is and what is, uh, what is the reason for having them. But there are new people to the channel all the time, so I'm gonna start there. I'm gonna put my glasses on because you guys look fuzzy. All right, that's much better. All right, why would you need this new hook from Z-Man? Well, the ZWG comes in three sizes, three aught, four aught, and five aught. And it comes in five, uh, four weights, a sixteenth, an eighth, a three sixteenths, and a quarter. Now, I was involved in some of the testing of this uh, particular hook when we were doing things with Z-Man over last summer before we launched the Mulletron because we were using it with the 3.3 Mulletron quite a bit and it did a great job. There were certain features about this extra wide gap hook that others did not have and th the immediate one is the look of the hook. So I pulled one out of the package here, let you guys see it here. Just take a gander at this hook first, okay? It's a little bit different, and then I'll explain. Okay, now you know you know what we're looking at here, and I'm going to rig up a bait for you. Now you might say, so when would I know if you're new? When would I need a ZWG or any extra wide gap hook? Well, in many cases for me, it's fishing grass, or if you have a grass die-off where there's lots of grass on the surface. But you also need it when you're skipping mangrove shorelines. Maybe if you're skipping docks, you've got to do that. Apologize for the crows, but the hawks are raiding their nests right now. So they're pretty angry. I'm watching them out there in the pines chase the hawks around. So this little red tab that we have right here keeps this bait on amazingly well. Now I'm going to come in about a quarter of an inch through the bait. And because Elastec is self-healing, and what do I mean by that? Well, it doesn't have, it, it finds itself, its memory very quickly. So it's, it's not like a plastisol bait that would tear. So it's easy to put it over the top of things and it'll just close right back up. So if I were to put it in this bait, you know, and set it in there, I like to pinch it. I can pull on the bait and it's not going to come off. That hook is sharp. It's not going to come off. Okay, so the fish aren't gonna tear it off. That's one. Two, when I find its perfect spot on the bait like that, all I do is push down. So I'm just pushing down. Now it's right in the middle of that bait and it's gonna swim just perfectly like so. That little collar, that little clear bead collar, see it down there by the weight? What you do is if, you don't have that clear bead on there like nobody else does. You cast and you cast and you skip and you reel, oh, it got taut, and you pull free. It will make this bait slide down so it's like this all the time. And the, hard, and the more you do it, 
the more relaxed that plastic becomes on the hook and it will fall down. Elastec has a grabbing um, nature to it where it stays on this high quality hook pretty readily, easily without that bead. But with that bead, I can slide it up and I can put it in the bait right up there. And now when I'm working that bait, it's not gonna, it's not gonna come down. See how it doesn't come down? doesn't come down at all. Not one bit. Perfect. Every time, cast after cast, skip after skip. Yet, if you had a fish attack the bait, come over the top of the bait, and you drive the hook home, it will slide right down and open up just like so and give you that positive hook set. One of the things I've noticed about this uh, hook in general, I'm going to take the bait off it, is they've done a good job with lining up that hook point right with the line tie, if you look real close. Now for many, that will make the bait even more snag proof. For some that are concerned, they'll say, well, that might hurt my hookup ratio. I have found it hasn't done that for me because I typically, with my extra wide gap hooks, go one size up in aught size. So if I think I need a four, I usually go to a five. If I think I need a three, I usually go to a four. That's me personally. Um, but if you find that you feel as if you missed a fish because of that, it's a simple fix. Take your pliers, just take your pliers in here and open that hook point up a few degrees so it will point up. That's a pro tip there. If you do that, when you strike that fish, that hook point will be pointed up slightly and it will penetrate the roof of the mouth of the fish. Um, the fish that would give you the most problems with that, um, just thinking off the top of my head, would likely be a redfish in shore. But I can tell you this, we tested this extensively over the summer with the 3.3 inch Mulletron and we did not miss any fish. We just didn't. And in fact, I was so impressed with the quality of the hook and one of the features I like, if I haven't mentioned it before, you see how they've enumerated the weight right on the lead itself? That makes it a lot easier to stay organized in your tackle box where you have your quarters, your 3 sixteenths, your eights, your sixteenths, all in separate boxes. And the sizes are what I call true aught sizes. It's a true three aught. It's a true four aught. Sometimes you'll, you'll find a brand that will, will list them that way and you'll find that, wow, the gap on this is not very good. But on, on these ZWGs, they have been fantastic. But the overall hook itself is super tempered and super high quality. It does not bend out very easily. I mean, it's a solid, heavy duty wire hook. And if, if you are the type of person or angler that is throwing a lot of light action or medium action style rods, and maybe uh, your tip is more of a moderate fast instead of a fast, these may not be the hooks for you you might go down to the smaller chin locks that doesn't have quite an HD feel to it. But if you're a swim bait angler, if you're a jerk shad angler, especially in the five inch, if, if you're doing anything like that, these ZWGs are gonna be it because now you're probably using a rod that is going to be more medium fast or medium extra fast or greater, medium heavy fast. and that's where I find, you know, they work the best for me, especially uh, in power fishing situations where I'm doing a lot of skipping, I'm doing a lot of, you know, long casting and reeling and trying to cover zones. These hooks work fantastic for that. Hopefully I taught you a little something about a piece of terminal tackle. In my opinion, that is my new favorite hook. I think it's the perfect extra wide gap hook uh, that hit the market this summer. If you have problems finding this in a retailer around where you live or your body of water, just go to sodiumusa.com and order yours online there. They typically would have the product to you in 48 hours. So give them a shot. They're my source online, they should be yours too. 
And, and do me a favor, if you enjoy learning what I teach you here on Flats Class YouTube, reach out there and subscribe, please hit that notification bell. You don't wanna miss tips like that. And we've got some really cool stuff coming soon. We've got the Flats Class Nation coming soon, which is going to be a membership deal for our, I'm gonna say, avid fans that you'll want to be a part of it. You're gonna find out first right here on Flats Class YouTube. All right, I'm gonna dig in my tackle box in the boat and I'm gonna get another set of tools out here. I can teach you something else for tomorrow. See you later.